Hi, this is Ed in San Diego, California, and you're on Global TV Talk Show. As I think you know by now, it's a business unit of globalbusinessnews.net. So globalbusinessnews.net uh, was set up in 2003. And since then, uh, we've had uh, over a half a million audience sessions uh, audience views, as Google Analytics calls it. And so we're, of course, grateful for the audience. Now, the biggest growth has been in the last uh, couple of years, ever since the pandemic began, uh, it's, it's taken off. Uh, we've had uh, uh, just around 215,000 audience views uh, since we began Global TV Talk Show dot com in uh, early March, 2020. Uh, we've been broadcast into uh, more than 100 countries. But it's important to note that 65%, perhaps 70% of that audience is US, Canada, uh, Mexico, and Brazil. Uh, that's, that's a huge number. And uh, about 15% is uh, Shanghai, Beijing, Hong Kong, Singapore, just so you know. And about 15% roughly is uh, what I'll call Europe, which is everything from Ireland and UK going east, including Russia. And that's the distribution of what we're doing here today which is to talk about obtaining for you and your brand positive global PR in an organized manner across time. And so we have set up Global Press Club to manage that thing in an organized system. And we're gonna be talking about that program, Global Press Club and managing of you and other members of obtaining and practicing obtaining the knowledge about positive global PR and then implementing positive global PR about yourself and your brand across a period of time. My job as curator, if you will, a leader, is to make sure it gets done in a non-intrusive way. So there's a cost to do all this. It's $1.88 a day, $1.88 a day. And you pick how much time you want. And we're going to just push the button here and welcome Clivia. Hello, Clivia, welcome. And this is Global TV Talk Show. And with us today is James Moss. Uh, who's situated in New York today. James uh, is originally from London and spends quite a bit of time there now still, but is in New York. And he is the owner and the, the brains behind this fascinating thing called AbsoluteReload.com. Hi, James. Ed, hi. Good morning to you. Great, yeah, uh, great to welcome. be on your show. Welcome, my friend. Yes. Well, the month of January is flying by already. It started a little slow for me anyway. And and then the, in the last 10 days, two weeks, it's like, whoa, where'd the time go? <laughs> yeah, it's already January 25. And I'm just booking up in February now. So here's the deal on today. The Global Press Club, of which you're a member, thank you, is an organized system of using your skills or learning new skills about PR. And what does that mean? So it means being a public speaker. It means being on Zoom TV with me right now and looking good and sounding good and feeling good about your brand and about yourself. And James Moss has been on several of our programs and has met some new people each time, right? 
Yeah, it, it's been absolutely excellent, Ed. Uh, you, you and I have known each other for, for a long time and, yes. and through several businesses. And, um, you know, the, the, the excellence of your content and networking, uh, I, I find invaluable. Uh, to to myself, to my businesses, particularly, uh, you know, in, in the fast changing world of tech and, and mobility, particularly post COVID, uh, you you've you've carved out a, a, a fantastic um, niche. Is is too small a word? It's a stronger area than that. Um, but yeah, I, I'm a huge fan. What do I say? I, 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 I will continue to be so. Yeah, thank you. And I'll deliver on my end. And what am I delivering? So the services are information and knowledge about um, practical global public relations sounds so big but what it is is speaking is walking the talk <laughs> so james as i mentioned you're the inventor of this app of this program and you believe so strong in it you're giving everybody a 100 percent money back guarantee and i i'm like breathless from your willingness to do that so tell us about that yeah, well, um, I'll, I'll try and keep it concise, okay? Uh, so what we've done and what I've done is we've basically put uh, relocation onto a mobile phone app. Uh, the, the, the reason being is that everyone uses mobile phones for everything. Um, so we, we're finding less and less people uh, sort of work off uh, a laptop computer. I mean, um, I mean, I'm sitting here now and I've got a, a, a second screen in front of me for emails and all the rest of it. And I have mounted beside me and constantly now a mobile phone. And uh, I do a lot of my monitoring on that. And I, I tell you, everyone does that. Um, so, yeah, so sort of that's that's where I've gone on the money back guarantee. Um, because what we do is so intuitive and super communicative with people working one-on-one -on -one, or one-to-one -one rather with Relo advisors you know in all sorts of places 26 countries now um we we find that it, it's super cost effective and it works so well with the feedback we've had is so great that we actually give a money back guarantee <laughs> uh and we're happy to do so it's the first in the industry i don't know what else is um had the confidence, I think, or necessarily the the tech savvy to be able to confidently go ahead and 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 do this. So yes, we give a a complete money back guarantee on our services. Um, I'm delighted to say we've never had to do that yet, but I'm sure the day <laughs> will come and we'll be happy to do so. So yeah, it's it's yeah, it's it's moving with the times, big time. So I've I've learned from you and I. Uh... I have implemented now in our uh, program on Global Press Club, uh, a 100% money back guarantee on our services and quality. And it feels so good to be able to do that, uh, <laughs> that, that um, you know, people are, are relaxed and smiling and welcoming me to tell them what my pitch is for membership. So it's a dollar eighty-eight a day, and you could do it for a thousand days, but most people are doing a year, three hundred sixty-five days, twelve months. So what do you get? So here's my guarantee: if you do, I don't care how long you do it, really. You, I mean, you can do the ninety-day sprint. That's three months, and I call it the sprint because boy, it goes by really fast, and there's a lot crammed into it. So every month that you you are a member of Global Press Club, you will receive the following, what I call thank you gifts. And I'm saying thank you, and I'm giving you a gift. Now it's how you use it that counts really. Here it is. Every month, you'll be my guest one-on-one -on -one interview on pre-agreed topics for about 20 minutes. Sometimes it goes 25, 28 minutes, sometimes 12 minutes. But the idea is, is that you'll get at least 20 minutes in a one-on-one -on -one, uh, talk show interview on global TV talk show. When we're done, you'll get the show program link for your own usage. I will host that for 12 months plus on globaltvtalkshow.com, linking to our active YouTube channel and also in our LinkedIn networks, 
which are over 4.2 million connections. <laughs> it's huge. Doesn't mean everyone's going to open the darn thing. So that has to do with the quality and the content of the talking. And that's what we help you with. So I call it positive global PR. Why global? Well, because you're on global TV and the world will have the opportunity to see this or just people down the street from you or in the US or in Canada or in Brazil or wherever you are. You control where that will go through your own send outs, through your own LinkedIn connections, through your own lists, your own Facebook page, your own Instagram. As producer and owner of the programs, I guarantee to host it more than a year on global TV talk show.com links automatically to our YouTube channel, which has absolutely <laughs> huge audience reach. Once again, we want people to open the program and that has a lot to do with the content that you talk about. So that's why I offer pre-agreed topics in the one-on-one -on -one interview. And even if you're going to be a guest in a panel situation, send me your talking points in advance. Why? Well, first of all, it makes my job easier. But the reality is, is that it's prep for you to become camera ready and to be more comfortable with the very specific items you want me to ask you about it. comment while on screen. You can control that. You tell me what you want me to ask you about. You are prepared. And by you sending me those talking points in advance, I learn what's important to you. And that helps me prep. That helps me manage the talk flow of the program. And of course, clock watching. So I want to be a happy TV talk show host. <laughs> and I will do that when I have customers, of course, but also customers who are prepared, media prepared. And so we help you prep. We want the lighting to be good. We want your sound to be good. We want you looking at this little green light, not at the big screen. See, I'm looking right now at the light. And I know that my glasses reflect sometimes. So I'm going to take them off so you can see my eyes. Okay, I'm real. So but I can't see clearly. So I have to put the glasses back on. And you will have the same issues to be camera ready. So we're going to help you get adjusted before we push the button. We want you to win. So every month you're a member, you get to have one one on one show on pre agreed topics for about 20 minutes. You're prepared, I'm prepared. You talk about yourself, you talk about your brand, you talk about how customers are using your service, your product. And if you can, talk about, with me in a one-on-one, -on -one, talk about how you've been told or what you've been told by customers, you don't have to name them, how your customers have actually benefited from your product or service. Now that is not being a hardcore salesman. That is storytelling. And that, when done effectively, becomes your best sales tool. It's not intrusive. You're talking about people using your product, your brand, to their advantage. How did they gain from it? And you're inviting them to tell the story. Okay, anyway, that's it. Every month you can do that. In addition, every month you're a member, you're invited to be on at least one of my group dynamic talk shows. It could be the Mastermind series. It could be about talent mobility. It could be about real estate. It could be about a certain destination. Uh, you're welcome to join the conversation. You will be introduced. You will make new connections every month of your membership through this. So every month you remember, you get two TV appearances, at least. You will get one, one-on-one, -on -one, and at least one a group show a month. There may be more. Also, moving quickly, we have a radio show 
called Global Radio Talk Show dot com that was set up a long time ago in 2010 it's still around we've done over 200 broadcasts and whatever we do on global tv talk show is going to be this is new going to be automatically a radio show it will appear on global radio talk show.com audio and it'll be the voice the voiceover no pictures so that is going to be a real hot product for us this year. Further, every month that you're a member, I in invite you to send me your company newsletter, your company blog, your own blog. It could be a video. It could be an audio clip. But I will publish it on globalbusinessnews.net, also in our IQ page. Global Business IQ is a new news service you could be in that page every month in addition to all that we will publish in fact every day of every month of your membership we will show your logo your video clip on our sites globalbusinessnews.net globaltvtalkshow.com globalradioshow.com every month your logo link or a video link will be on our sites. Now, since January 1, 23, through a couple of days ago, we've had over 3,000 audience views. Now, where else do you know you could get that kind of exposure at $1.88 a day? <laughs> I mean, it just doesn't, <laughs> it's not there. Now, you could buy a poster uh, in Times Square in New York and put it up there next to the Coca-Cola sign or next to the Mr. Peanuts uh, or, the, or the other ads, but it's going to cost you a fortune to do that. And we offer, not Times Square, we offer you the world of globaltvtalkshow.com and globalbusinessnews.net. So if you do this for... 90 days, uh, you get all of those services across those 90 days. Uh, so if you want to renew or uh, expand, uh, it's still $1.88 a day. There's no tricks, no funny business, all legitimate. And if you do the 1,000 day, I mean, it's crazy, uh, it's 33 months, 1,000 days. So I'm not even going to do the math. Let's just talk about 12 months, 365 days. You will get at least two TV appearances every month times 12. So that's 24 TV appearances across the year. You will get one radio show, talk show a month, maybe more, but we guarantee one. So that's 24 plus 12. That's 36 media appearances across your membership of 12 months. Got that? In addition to that, in 12 months, you're, we're going to publish your company news every month. Send it to me. I will publish it. It could be a blog. It could be a newsletter. It could be a video clip. We'll publish it. And once we publish it on our sites, it stays there. Of course, we add on every month. And so you'll be on the top of the page one day, but then we're going to add <laughs> others. And so you go down the page. So make sure it's interesting. So people will want to look at it. <laughs> okay. And we can help guide you with that. So anyway, I'm doing too much talking. So, so James, um, your really cute video um, with your ad explaining about that, it's sort of like a cartoon show, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's a video explainer. Um, we we did it um, a, well, a little back uh, back now, some time back. Uh, it's 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 great. Um, it's a concept uh, thing. It's the actual uh, technology has just you know cracked on unbelievably. So I mean the things that you can do with apps these days. Um, you know we're looking very closely at Chatbox, uh, GPT, you know, the. Uh, the tech team, the development team are really, really interested in what we can do with that. 
Um, so yeah, the, the video explainer is great. Uh, keeping these things up to date is always a challenge. Um, it's one of the things I love about working with you, Ed, is that everything is fresh and out there. Um, the panels are diverse. Interest, the subject matters are interesting. I mean, I tend to sort of rabbit on a bit about what we do, but uh, it's a sort of bigger picture, which really makes everything gel. And uh, I, I have to say, working with you is, is fantastic on that. Yeah, you're so kind. So anyway, having you involved uh, is just is just wonderful. So did I tell you we're going to do a European uh, conference tour? I'm, I'm calling it VIP conferences. Not that we're important, but you are important. But but VIP for this purpose is, <laughs> means <laughs> virtual, yeah. virtual yeah. and in person. All right, yeah. v, the VIP. Yeah. So that means that, for instance, we're going to go to London uh, in, in early May sometime. Um, I'm not invited to the coronation, no. but, but we're going to be there <laughs> <laughs> hanging around. <laughs> and one day we're going to hold on our luncheon meeting. So it's going to be a luncheon in a nice place. Um, uh, there probably won't be in the area of Westminster Abbey. It'll be too busy, but, but somewhere. Uh, maybe near um, uh, Charing Cross or something. Yes. Uh, okay. Or, yeah, yeah. Or or maybe right next to St. Paul's and make it make, make it holy, <laughs> right? So, <laughs> but we're going to hold a meeting uh, in person, which will also be on Zoom. Uh, and so, why are we doing that? Well, first of all, it's been a very long time since I've produced a live meeting. The last one was in Washington, D.C. on Embassy Row on February 27, 2020. Mm -hmm. And that was the last live meeting. And March 1, a couple of days later, the boom came down on my live conference business, which actually began uh, uh, the turn of the century. <laughs> uh, so uh, then what? So then we decided... I better learn how to become a TV talk show host. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, we don't have any uh -huh. travel costs, number one. And we could uh, invite people from around the world to be on Global TV Talk Show. And it's happened. So we've had some nice growth since uh, early 2020. Uh, according to Google Analytics, there's been uh, over 200,000 audience visits from over 100 countries. So I'm feeling the weight of responsibility and the idea that I've learned how to do this and stay afloat financially. Um, and I'm thankful and grateful to the audience and people like yourself, James, for giving me a shot. And uh, it's worked. So uh, now this is a way of giving back is learning how to be a coach and what I do best is PR stuff for myself. <laughs> so, and I've built these audiences through the media channels. Like for instance, on LinkedIn, um, I've been a member there for 10 years or so, but um, I have, according to them, uh, almost 19,000 direct connections. Mm -hmm. So, you know, on LinkedIn where it says, when you put a message in, how do you want to distribute it? Anyone, anyone plus Twitter, and then connections, and then there's groups, right? Okay. So when I just push the button on connections, and I put a post in my feed on LinkedIn, the only ones who get it are the people who are in my connection list. So... That's like uh, 18,900 and something as of this morning. So that's a pretty good audience. <laughs> and so thank you very much. But when I do that, and I do it every day with something, um, there's a lot of eyeballs seeing what we're doing. Add to that the different groups on LinkedIn. And I'm not being paid by LinkedIn. I'm just telling you that it, the darn thing has worked for me. And I encourage people to learn how to use it because then you build your own audience. Meanwhile, my audience, these followers that I have, these 
people who have been clicking. As I've mentioned, there's been over 200,000 since we began. So we have an audience and I'm grateful for that. And having a show like this goes into the feed, goes into the library, it's available, free access, no charge, no toll gate. It's wide open, open source. And we have people in Lagos, Nigeria. We have people in Cape Town, South Africa. We have people in Dubai. We even have people in Tehran. We even have people in Pakistan. And not a lot, but we have some. And so, you know, you have to wonder why they're watching. <laughs> but but thank you. <laughs> and uh, so this program, for instance, will be sent to certain groups in LinkedIn. So for instance, there's a group called um, US Government Lobbyist Networking. There's 100,000 members of that group. And I don't send all my stuff there because they, they're not gonna care about most of what I'm doing. But something like this would be interesting because it explains what they can do with global PR for their own use. So what I'm offering is to, for the membership fee, I'm offering to rent my audience for a period of time. And the customers that we're gonna get in Global Press Club, the people who sign up, whether it's 90 days or a thousand days, it's all about time. I'm gonna give you my audience. Now, if you do good in the show, then you, you will build a following by doing that kind of thing, which means you're building your own audience while at the same time uh, talking to my audience. So it's a double win. And I encourage that because every time you get new customers as a result of what you're doing on global TV, for instance, you're gonna remember me well and that becomes a real positive thing you can't buy that kind of advertising and it's almost like god-given uh, because it's there and if you use it right if you use it well and you know what you're doing from a global pr management point of view then it's a big win because you could use those skills in your own life in your own world has nothing to do with me and that's fine Ed, let oh. me uh, just chip in here because I, I give you a couple of really good examples. Um, I, I've been building um, a, a global network uh, relocation consultants uh, network for some time now. And, uh, you know, online. It's, it's, yeah, it's really come along extraordinarily well. We're, we're over 60 relo advisors around the world. But the interesting thing is, is, is certainly um, with some of them, particularly out the Far East, uh, when I was engaging with them, they said, oh, we've heard about you. We've come across you. <laughs> Weren't you on one of Ed's shows? <laughs> and I was sort of, you know, quite slightly chuffed and surprised. Wow. <laughs> you know, I thought, oh, one well, they remember, it was great. But I mean, so just, just to say, um, you know, it, it, the reach is there and it's real. So about this London meeting, <laughs> are you going to be there for the coronation? Yeah, I hope so. Uh, <laughs> and actually heading over to London uh, in about 10 days time. And we'll be looking at that. But yeah, the, the, I'm fully anticipating to be there. I am, a, I'm a, I am a royalist at heart and an Englishman at heart. And uh, yeah, so yeah, I, I would very much like to be there. Um, I don't think I'm going to be invited to the coronation either. <laughs> uh, but I know some good pubs around. I've got some good mates. So I think we'll probably uh, team up together. And and if, if you're around, come and join us because uh, you'd be very, very welcome. Well, um, Joanne will be with me on this tour, okay. uh, which Great. I'll talk about in just a minute. But I'm thinking that... Uh, we would have our, our VIP meeting, again, virtual and in person, um, in, a, in a club like setting, uh, someplace where there's strong internet because we're going to broadcast it also. Okay, uh, so that's really key. So um, think about HAC and if there's some kind of uh, possibility um, 
being such a prestigious place, uh, it would help attract some key people to want to be involved. Um, so anyway, uh, the idea is like, this is just rough planning right now for the conference day, would be uh, a welcome at 12 noon, reception, meet and greet, uh, have a, a spirit. Uh, and then uh, about 12.30 or so, 12.45, we sit down to a lunch served. Uh, we have some opening remarks of welcome, network around the tables, and and then we have a, a keynoter uh, on something. Uh, and then we adjourn for um, uh, a break, networking, and then 15, 20 minutes later, we begin the actual conference. So the conference will be a Zoom broadcast. So the speakers are certainly welcome to be present live, but they can be in Oshkosh, bagosh, <laughs> and come in on the internet. I don't care. So the idea of doing it on the internet, now not the networking, the only thing that will be broadcast will be the actual conference segment itself. Okay, so the, I think the networking should remain private and off camera. But uh, uh, so we have a, a conference setting for about an hour, 90 minutes max, uh, same format that we've been using in our group talk shows, um, where there's, you know, everybody sends me their talking points in advance, so they're prepared, they're comfortable. I'm comfortable, I have a schedule of when people should be speaking and that will help me manage the time and talk flow and just keep it all going and interesting. So what happens is that the sponsors of the show, because of the in-person and the broadcast, get a huge audience, not only that day, but because of the recording, you know, people will watch that thing a year from now a year beyond and so the audience is huge not just for the speakers but for the sponsors and so that's the uh, the business side of it and i'd love to to have you involved of course we did a meeting uh, a long time ago uh at, at hac and that uh, memorable for sure um and if it's not available that's cool too but uh, we'll find a place but that kind of a place is the idea for my tour, which I'm calling a GEO, GEO tours. Um, so uh, we're going to do Paris. We're going to do Copenhagen because Joanne's family is from Copenhagen and we'll do a meeting in Copenhagen and, uh, and spend some time with the family. But we're also going to do Switzerland and we're also going to do Hamburg and we're also going to do Milano. Now there's some talk of doing Amsterdam and adding in Poland also, Eastern Europe, uh, but I'm not sure I'll survive all of that in one trip. So, <laughs> so we may have to come back. <laughs> but but that's the idea. Um, just earlier today, I was on uh, on a call uh, with my German friends. Um, so this has taken off because I've been introduced to uh, people involved in what's called EAP, Corporate Employee Assistance Plans, which has to do primarily with mental well-being, health care benefits, and, um, you know, uh, taking care of employees, whether they're remote or whether they're in office. And so EAP managers are part of the HR talent function. And also within that realm is talent acquisition, training, uh, and teaching and developing and projects, project assignments. And that's where remote working and mobility comes in, right? So it's just enlarging that pie a little bit. We'll bring in uh, a bigger audience and very, very tuned in with today's need to engage better with employees. And that's what your absolute reload is doing. Yeah, we, I mean, we, we, we do that at a certain level. Um, we, you know, we just really focus on the sort of DIY elements of moving 
um, so we don't sort of provide policies and all the rest of it. Um, having said that, we we do actually get more and more involved in in that because you know we're experts in our in our field of the bits that we do, and in in the days you know today of hybrid working, um, the way people move because people you know their their budgets, their houses, prices have rocketed up, rents have rocketed up. People aren't going to the office every day, so they have more options, more cost effective options. And, um, you know, sadly, companies are cutting back, uh, certainly in the tech world. I mean, there have been over 200,000 uh, job cuts in the fangs uh, since the, since, well, with, within the last year, really. Um, there's a lot of readjustment going on. It, it doesn't mean people are going out of business, it doesn't mean companies are very, but they're changing. They're just changing. And, um, you know, the, the global relocation industry, uh, is a bit of a behemoth in terms of its uh, adaptability. I mean, it's it, you know it's a very established industry. It's a great industry, um, but you know its its processes are a bit slow to adjust. We we sort of just swept a broom through all of that and doing our own thing, um, and it's it's you know it's been very well received. It's still early days. Um, but what what's interesting, what makes it work for us is is what you do is is basically having the bigger discussion about the whole uh, way that that the talent works, new talent, existing talent, old talent. Um, we, we find things are, are consistently non generational now. Uh, the talk, you know, if you go back to a couple of years ago, we're talking about Generation Z, millennials, and all the rest of it. That's much more merged now. Um, because it's not an age thing it, it, it's really people's everyday tech skills that's why we've gone the mobile phone route because it doesn't matter how old i mean my i think my my grandmother was using a mobile phone in her 90s i mean come on uh, <laughs> so you don't have to be you know uh, you know the whiz kid coming up you know from you know the high school dropping out of your MBA and all the rest of it. Um, I mean, those are great stories, but the truth of the matter is, it, it, it's much more universal. Let's talk about the residential real estate and how it fits in to uh, absolute relo. Yeah, well, real estate is is really the the big part of the equation we we focus on. Uh, when when people move you know be it for work i mean that we tend to do it dear as deal with the workspace but it's not just workspace but when people move or relocate uh they only need three things okay they need to um find somewhere to live which is pretty important they need to get their stuff over and if it's international they need the legal right to live and work wherever they're going to be and that's really what you know the the core ingredients of, of global mobility are, are all about. We really focus on the property side. Uh, myself and my team are really strong in the property world. We're real, you know, we're real estate experts. We have a separate uh, property company in New York and London, um, and everyone's fully qualified in that space. So when someone's moving one well, they've got to find the space so we're great at helping them do that and then you've got to negotiate it you know you, there's a lot of ingredients involved so you've got to know how long you're going to be there what the lease terms are going to say can you have pets when do you start what's the rent going to be i mean all this stuff needs to get sorted out and it's not the sort of thing you just delegate to a, a sort of office junior or, or even a bot uh, it's human, <laughs> you know, it's human to human. I've, I've just been doing some research on this and, you know, on the chat box thing, which is brilliant. Yeah. But yeah. the thing about chat box is that you can't have a computer sitting down cutting a property deal with the landlord. It really doesn't work. Uh, you've got to do it with the agent. And you've got all the nuances and, you know, the in, in sequences that go on there. You've got to know a bit about the law. You've got to know a bit about local rent control and all that sort of stuff. Um, and we're really good at that. And our relo advisors are all trained in that space. In fact, it's, it's, it's the two groups that we really concentrate on recruiting from, and that is um, experienced relocation advisors, people who have been doing it for a while and know their way around. And we train on top of that. But the other group are property people, um, people from the real estate world, because they know how to sort out the property. They know how to deal with, often with, with 
you know, rental agents are called applicants, we call customers. Um, and there's a common culture. And then we do all the support stuff in the back. So it's, it's, a, big, it's a big piece for us. So the New York market, uh, New York City, Manhattan, from a real estate point of view, from a real estate rental point of view, it's pretty pretty arcane, isn't it? It's crazy making, isn't it? Uh, it's not just New York. I mean, London's the same, Amsterdam's the same, Berlin's the same. Um, and, and what has happened is that um, rents have just, you know, taken off. Uh, and it's usually for several reasons. Um, limited stock supply is a big one, particularly in London and New mm. York. Um, in the best areas. Yeah, um, it, and it, 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 you know, that's that's one of the things. Uh, inflation, of course, drives up rents. Landlords' costs are higher, and all the rest of it. Um, so you've got you've got all these 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 factors going on. Um, so it, it's sort of the inverse of the sales market. So the sales market boomed um, during COVID. Everyone left the cities. No one wanted to be there and you know get a dose of COVID. Um, so all that's now changed and in inflation and soaring interest rates, the uh, increase in, in mortgage costs. So a lot of people are renting instead of buying. So it's more competition in the rental market. Um, in some areas, again, London and New York are very similar. The government cracked down on tax breaks for landlords. They sort of made becoming a landlord pretty unattractive. So less stock to go around. Um, so yeah, I mean, property, is this is a really it's a really big factor and the, yeah and the, and relocation is is intrinsically connected to global property markets so in the real estate industry there's a phenomenon it's not new but it's just growing big companies whether it's mutual funds or big investment banks are buying up homes condos and and renting them out um it's a, a huge industry big industry big industry in the u.s uh it's it's uh it's run through a thing called REITs, uh real estate investment trusts which are a very very tax efficient uh vehicle uh, and for investors so there's a huge REIT market uh, in the rental market uk um you know, developers building for rents rather than just sort of selling off the, the back end, which is the traditional way they make their money, and then putting those into investment packages and REITs. Um, a good example is the student market, actually, which is a market where we're uh, one of our key markets is education. And, uh, you know, it, the, the whole sort of international student thing, the way that students live and, well, I'm going to say work, they, they do work, but they work academically, they're not on the job market. Yeah. Um, There's a huge market for that. And we like that market. A number of the big estate agencies are also now very focused in that market and are quite good at responding to uh, relocation management company i mean we're, we're are we a management company no we're more end user but we do interact with these guys and we find they're much more on our wavelength now uh which is very helpful knight frank in, in the uk is a good example of that they with fact their head of global relocation is uh, an ex-employee of mine who i trained up so there you go um so yeah, it's it's an interesting segment. So here in uh, downtown San Diego, nine two one zero one, we're just right across from Seaport Village and the harbor. That's uh, so a very high demand area. There's an absolute boom going on, even in these high interest rates right now. There's tons of international money has buying up street corner after street corner and putting up. Uh, luxurious apartment towers. So it's beginning to look like Manhattan actually here. Um, and so in not too long ago, those would be condos. So the developers aren't doing that though, because of um, the risk of defect lawsuits from HOAs. And they just avoid all of that by having rentals. Mm -hmm. And and that sort of ties in exactly with what you're you've just been telling us. 
yeah yeah I, I think that's 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 absolutely right um i think developers a lot of developers are trying to find uh you know new ways of skinning old cats that sounds like a mixed metaphor a bit but uh but i i think that's animal lot. cruelty yeah, uh, animal uh, cruelty, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um <laughs> I mean, in New York, I mean, I, I don't know the, the San Diego market uh, it, you know, really all that well. I read about it and I follow uh, the US global, US markets on the property press, over here, the real deal, things like that. Um, but what's happening is that the top end luxury has sort of you know, blown a gasket, I think is the expression, certainly here in New York. Um, I'm just up the road from me is um, is Billionaires Row, which is 57th Street, sort of midtown, right? Where you see all these beautiful, luxury, terrifically well-designed buildings going on. Um, and, you know, they're not selling. Uh, the prices are coming down. Um, the activity in the market is very low very low you read all the the real estate agent reports you read you know courtroom and douglas element and all those guys and uh the actual activity rates are really really fallen uh mid-market less so okay but the interest rate pressures and the inflation pressures are really kicking in so i think a lot of developers are sort of thinking you know what what do we do next where do we go next how do we avoid problems and rentals uh is is a really good way to go because as you say it, it alleviates a lot of these sort of uh, sort of subterranean issues if you like um and you know it's numbers that drive developers as simple as that so part of your app is for people who may be relocated let's say new york to london and then let's just say a young lady uh, I won't mention names, but you know uh, uh, who, who I'm talking about, I think. And she was relocated by a big company into London, didn't know anybody, wasn't given any introductions, and she wasn't used to that lifestyle. And she got really upset and then developed an app uh, about finding other people of like age and like knowledge or whatever and is absolute reload tied in with that kind of a thing or absolute yeah, reload .com? yeah i absolutely we, we are um and and the person you were referring to is one of our partners yeah that's great yeah. um she's and, great yeah and i've relocated myself you know a number of times and uh you know if you work for a, a, a company it's, it's much easier because you sort of know people in different locations for spouses yeah. and kids it's trickier um and yes the experience you had I, I i totally relate to um you know I've, i tend to do things by myself that's sort of the nature i am i you know i work with clients but i'm fairly independent so i brought my family to the states for example and, you know, it was a good move, but, you know, there were issues. And I think she, she's doing a great job. Um, she's really zeroed in, really on the community side. And that's what I like about it. Um, I think when people move, uh, relocate, they, they don't have a lot of people to share the experience with. Right. Sounds like I'm going on to a bad joke. But it's, it's, it's true. They, they don't. And um, I'll give you a great example, sort Thank of you. inverse example. And that is um, if people move back, so they relocate back to where they came from, that is often where they have almost more trouble because uh. they, they go back and everyone thinks, oh, hi, Ed, haven't seen you for a while. Yeah, where you been? Uh, <laughs> where you been? What's been going on? And you've gone off and you've been you know, in San Diego having the wonderful life experience or Copenhagen or whatever you, you, you've been. And nothing's changed. And you're thinking, hey, <laughs> I've just spent the last three years having this terrific experience of this greatest thing in my life. Yeah. And everyone's thinking, oh, you know. And, oh, and they don't, don't want to hear about it. <laughs> So, you know, so it's sort of things like that. But if you're, um, if you're moved to, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm a, a member of a couple of sort of expat communities out here. Um, and I got to say, it's great because you do 
meet people in all sorts of different walks of life, but basically who have relocated to New York in, in, in this case. And they get together and it, it, it's great because they, they chat about the experience of relocating to New York. They also talk about, you know, what's happening in the Premier League or the rugby coming up or right. something like that or the World Cup. Or, I mean, you know, we use terrible, you know, sort of um, local English expressions, which sound crazy over here. Um, you know, <laughs> and, and, and they, no metaphors and all that sort of stuff, you know. Um, <laughs> Like the Americans, well, you know, who let the dog out? I mean, that's not a really good one. But, you know, it's sort of, you know, <laughs> anyway. And we all laugh and we don't say very much. It's just the way that a lot of English people communicate because, you know, we we're not terribly expressive. Not all of us anyway. Um, and they say with the, this is going off to off of the tangent, but, you know, they, they say the best way to communicate with English is to understand the things they're not saying. Um, and, and, you know. Over a pint. You can have a lot uh, of With a glass. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. James Moss, um, absolutereload.com. Thank you for talking about your experiences so far with Global Press Club. And um, it's, I've just been, uh, it's been a delight for me to learn more about you and your brand and, and, the, and the real estate industry. Uh, boy, it's great. Well, thank you very much. It's, it's, it's been great uh, being on Ed, and uh, you know, I look, I look forward to our continuing interaction. So I'm going to sign off in San Diego here, and uh, James is currently in Manhattan. Cheers. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> thank you for being on Global Press Club. Terrific. Thank you very much. Thanks.